Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Hi, Dr. Karen Sinan. Hello. Oh. Thank you very much for spending this afternoon with us. Yes, my pleasure. Thank you. Now, uh, I know that uh, you're going to be showing us a couple of videos. Could you tell yes. us something about the UP Med <clears throat> Choir? Okay, so the UP College of Medicine Choir has been present since the 1980s. But it was formally uh, made into an official organization in the UP College of Medicine at around the late uh, 80s, 1989. And then uh, I was a member of the UP College of Medicine Choir from 1994 to 2004. It's composed of uh, medical students from the UP College of Medicine. So <clears throat> we usually have we usually have rehearsals around two to three times a week. Wow! Uh, how do yeah. you find the time? <laughs> oh, we Given make your time. medical practice. Well, I guess if you love something, you're gonna make time, right? Yeah. So usually, um, when we were students, uh, we would bring our transcriptions, our notes, our books into the choir rehearsal room, and we would read if uh, if our section is not the one learning the piece. So, even before exams, you'd be surprised people are still attending the rehearsals because it's a stress buster. So, uh, with all the pressures of medical school, it really helps us cope. And um, what started with love for music turned out to be a, a, a really good uh, relationship with my colleagues later yes. on. Yes. And so, all practicing doctors, right? They're all yes, alumni of yes. UP College of Medicine. They're all practicing doctors and they're harmonized perfectly. I must oh. admit, when I saw the, the the video and in a few minutes you're going to share this with us, I was so impressed. And I understand that you guys, aside from being busy doctors, you're frontliners in this battle against COVID-19, mm -hmm. and you still found the time to harmonize, to come together and put this fantastic video. Okay, so um, a small uh, group of the alumni were actually chatting. And at that time, uh, we were, it was the start of the ECQ and we were so depressed, so down because a lot of us were thrust into the front lines, ill-prepared. And most of our mentors were getting sick and were dying of the disease. So, um, Again, because it was our stress relief to sing together, we tried singing using a teleconferencing app, but that didn't work. And so we, I suggested we need to pre-record and sing individually. And then we stitch everything together using a software. And that's how the virtual choir came about. First yes. of all, on behalf of the Filipino nation, I thank you. I salute the UP Med Choir. I salute all of you for making the tremendous risk to, con you know, in this brave fight against COVID-19. We, the nation, owes you a debt of gratitude. We've lost very excellent doctors through this fight, and uh, with those voices singing it just i can't help but you know um feel how grateful i am that uh, the philippines is blessed with such a tremendously talented pool of doctors who still find the time to blend their voices to give <laughs> hope aside from healing and uh i am truly truly honored to have you this afternoon but you know um the, the what well, as they say music has a very therapeutic effect and yes. because of that whenever we have our rehearsals it regains our um our energies we were able to regain our energy and be more um uh, happy with what we're doing because we're also doing our passion apart from uh, doing our work. And that's what we're really lucky about with Glow Voices at Work, with this opportunity. Friends, you know, the beauty of choral music is so unique. And uh, the country is blessed with all these tremendous voices. 
whether they are doctors, businessmen, professionals who have nine to five jobs, they still find the time to get together online and create these beautiful virtual performances that inspire us, uplift our souls, and give us a few moments of uh, happiness and hope, which is what everybody needs right now. Yes. Uh, when was it originally choir, formed? Uh, the choir uh, started in 1957, um, wow. and the former name is uh, AU- AUP Ambassadors. This is a uh, university choir of the Adventist University of the Philippines. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.